Simba, NYC TV. Hi folks, my name is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment. Welcome back to Simba NYC TV from out of Brooklyn, New York. Today is Friday, August 19, 2016. Thank God it's Friday. There has been such an overwhelming response to our last episode of the Steel Band, with you asking for more. And because of this, we are going to give you more. We are going to visit Hearts of Steel, Steel Band today. And you know how I love the road. No time to waste. Let's go.
Shelly S. And we are at Hearts of Steel Pan Yard on Rogers between Parkside and Winthrop. It's pan and pan and more pan. And standing next to me is Mike Dimas, and he is the founder of the band of the band Hearts of Steel. Yes, I am. Say hi to our Simba NYC TV viewers. Hello, Simba NYC. Pleased to meet you. Glad that you came out to give us a view. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes. Well, you know what? My viewers love Pan. That's right. So tell me a little bit about the band and when the band started. The band started in 2006 in our basement. And from there on, we was well liked by the people in the community. They really gave us that energy we needed to continue this work here. Thanks to this young lady here too. Gave us a lot of jobs, a lot of exposure. And we thank her very much, you know. So far, we are seven years of age and trying to go and go and go, you know. So we appreciate you coming by and giving us a, a shout out. And we look forward to seeing you again, if yes. possible. Yeah, we, we will certainly be back. So the band has certainly grown since 2006. Oh yes, we did, we did, definitely. Due, due to the father upstairs, he has granted us a, a enormous amount of support. And there's nothing we can do without his love and his thought and his presence. So we give all the glory to the God. Is, is the goal of the band Panorama? What is the goal of the band? The goal of the band is just to keep the culture going as best as we could. Um, everything else like that. We don't go Panorama as such, but we perform a lot of viewings, christenings, weddings, and so forth. And we're just trying to do something with our culture and this northern part of the world, you know. So we give all, like I said, we give all the glory to God, you know. Without Him, nothing can be as possible, you know. But as long as we are together, Shelda has been a very, very loving friend of mine. Let me mention that because I know her since I was 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. And um, she always been there for me, you know. So I really and truly appreciate her coming out here tonight you know I appreciate good music and that's why I'm here I hear that I love that mm -hmm. I'm glad to know that you enjoy our music mm -hmm. and we're gonna try and continue doing it the best as we could and we thank the people that come out to enjoy the time with us as you can see and we look forward to doing great things you know so if you need us you can check Shelda or you can check me we are available for any any occasion wedding christening by misters, birthday parties, so forth. You name it, Heart to Steel can do it. So you will be at Juve? Oh yes, definitely. Um, if I don't go, I will make a lot of people mad at me and I don't want that. You know, I don't want to let nobody down because everybody been held up with me, supporting me and giving me their love, their blessing and their glory. So Juve is one of our key exposure that we look forward to very much and yes. one of the things I like about Juve is always the bomb tune the surprise tune yes can you uh, you can't give the secret away not not right now um, we are tossing up with two songs I am um, with your brother he have a song in mind and um, we talked about it earlier on and um, he will give me the heads up Monday on it but we have two songs we are tossing up with so whatever one he decides to go with we're gonna go with you know, so that's what we're waiting on. So the bomb tune is really a secret, as Shelda just said, and um, we are waiting, you know. And you will be featuring, what, t-shirts, or will you be featuring masks? Well, no, we, we, are, we, we are known as a sailor band. I have t-shirts on sale right now. It's $20 a piece, band fees included, and there's various colors. So you can always pick up one at 623 Rogers Avenue. Between Winthrop and Parkside is twenty dollars with band fee included. You know we don't want to get too greedy and chase the money. We're not about the chasing the money. We're about spreading the culture and making everyone happy as the best that we could. Yes. So I, I can see this is one big party and this is a Thursday night. Yes. And I've heard your weekends uh, ten times the amount of people yes. I'm seeing here yes. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. 
this is the smallest place that I've been so far and um, people are saying boy what you gonna do in the next two weeks I say I'm gonna pray like I normally do and ask the Lord to protect and guide as he always did and we hope for the best you know we thank the Lord like I said we never go out with thanking him because without him nothing is possible is there a phone number? Is there some way people can contact you? Yes, um, my name is Michael DeMars. I'm at 623-0151. That's my personal cell phone number. My email address is, is being worked on right now as we speak. So you can call at 623-0151 and Mike will be glad to talk to you. Okay, you can come by at our yard anytime and see what we are about and participate and enjoy what we are doing because that's what we are we are a loving family we are for the people and the people are for us you know so reach out to us anybody is welcome we don't discriminate mm -hmm. we don't hate you're you all right yes i certainly feel the love and the sense of family here oh yes definitely definitely we have grandmothers with the children here we have it's all sorts of relationship, husband and wife, I mean, it's real great, you know, cousins, you know, and um, it's very enjoyable, you know, it's a very, very, very good feeling. I'm not saying because I'm the captain or so forth, but I get a good feeling from the people too. They come out, they show the love, you know, and that's what we need, you know, we need that love amongst each other, you know, even if it's for two months, three months. It's very important yes. that, you know, we extend that to each other. Yes. I agree. So the love starts here, well, and the love of the pan, yes. and the love of the culture. That's right. It's all that wrapped up in one, you know. So once we can do that and let it grow and grow on and go on and on and on, it's, it's important mm -hmm. for us to, to love one another, you know. At, at the end of the day, yes. without you, I'm nothing. Yes. I can't do this by myself, you know. So everybody that come aboard, I give thanks and I bless everyone that spent a minute or two here with us, you know. And like I said, I want to thank this organization here for what they are doing with all the other bands included. And it's very healthy that somebody is willing to go that distance to support the culture so people can recognize it very much more. And we wish you luck with your journey to Shelter. You understand? Plenty, plenty luck, plenty love, and everything that you can be successful in what you are trying to achieve too. Thank you so much. You know? And and before I leave, I would love to talk with your arranger. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome to the arranger. <laughs> And the arranger is here. And the arranger is Anthony Tribuse. Pra. Pra, Anthony Pra. Don't, now, don't forget it, Pra. I haven't forgotten it. And I, I have to be honest. He is not only the arranger of Hearts and Steel, he's also family. He's my brother. Yeah. He ain't heavy, he's, he's my, my brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how, how long have you been arranging here? Um. I started like eight years ago and then we we left, I left and then he asked me to come back this year to work with the band. So they have songs that I, that I did like maybe like six or seven years ago that they're still doing and now we start back doing. This is this is like some like coming back here and doing brand new work with them. Now I know that you're the arranger for this band, but you've also in the past had your own band and it was called Pan Rebels and that was a huge band. Yeah. So, what's it like to arrange for a band on that scale and come back and do a much smaller band? Well, this is also an experience, you know, because this is, it's a conventional band and have like a um, single pan band. So this band is limited with notes and everything. So this is a, this is a challenge too, to come, like, you know, when you're looking for an F sharp and it's not there, you're looking for an E flat and it's not there, so it's like a challenge trying to work with this. So it, it's, it's interesting too. Just as like a, um, a conventional band. Tell me about because I know for going for Panorama, it's all about song selection. Tell me what it's about here in terms of song. Oh, but this we more concentrate on the road, making sure that the, we pick the right song for the juve, so that that's like the most important thing. Making sure that we have the juve song, the bump competition song, 
panorama is a different thing, but this is we have to concentrate and make sure that the people on the road really enjoy the music. So we will definitely be seeing you for Juve. Definitely. Hearts are still all the way. And in terms of your other other things that you're doing, how can people reach you? Well, I'm still doing gigs. I'm doing gigs like on the whole tribal. And um so far I've been in and out of it, so but right now things is kind of people asking me and you know contacting me to do music. So eventually things are gonna pick up and I'll be able to have um contact and right now we're billing uh, we're billing the whole um help me <laughs> no I'm kidding we're billing the whole um the website and everything that we could be able to be contacted. Is there the possibility of you bringing a band back? That's a big, that is a real big question. I mean, that's not your question only. That's that's an everyday thing. I can't even walk the street without people saying, what, what about, bring back Parable, what about Parable? But it's not an easy task because right now, the bands are already functioning, having such a hard time. So for me to go back and, and have a hard time with them, is, is, I wish I could help them in some way, but it's not easy. We had it a little easier, but now it's like with all this development of the houses and stuff, there's no more yards, there's nothing. It's not an easy task right now. I take my hats off to the bands that could make it the panorama right now. Well, I want to really thank you for taking this time out to talk with us. Um, Simba NYC TV is really just focused on trying to support and to highlight these bands. We understand the difficulty and um, that's why we do what we do. Oh, believe me, I'm a big fan. So. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm going to be watching this episode and all the other episodes. I've seen almost all of them. And I'm going to try to let turn people on to it. I'm already telling people about this TV program. So believe me, you have me as a big fan. Thank you so much. Simba NYC TV, I hope that you enjoyed the sounds of Hearts of Steel. Simba, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good, good night. standing with one of the members of Hearts of Steel and your name is? I am Hatshepsut Nolene Kisa Davidson. I saw you playing and I could not help but be drawn by, by your playing. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And how long have you been playing with Hearts of Steel? Uh, I started in 2010 and I missed probably a year and uh, I continued with Hearts of Steel. One of the things that I've heard is that you are a physician and I'm, I'm happy to hear that I want people to see that a steel pan could be made up of everyone, everyone, every class, every type of person. Well, you know, pan is my heritage. My um, uncle, Philmo Boots Davidson, was a pan pioneer of Trinidad and Tobago and my father was a foundation member of Casablanca. And of course, City Syncopators was my uncle's band. So there are about 16 of us that play pan in our family. So I guess I had to carry the battle. I had to carry the torch. Um, I practice Chinese medicine, and I'm also a cultural psychotherapist. I sing classical, African music in Yoruba, and in Zulu. And um, I play classical piano. I've been playing classical piano from a little girl. So that's over 50 years um, in our family's music school. So music really is my heritage. So it is not strange that I can be found in a panyard after working hard during the day. You know, the music is what energizes me. It uplifts me and, um, and because it's our music, it has a special place, I think, in my brain. You know, so when I don't play music, um, I don't feel good. The music is a part of my life. It stimulates my right brain. And um, you know your right brain is creativity. So I need that kind of a stimulation. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I think, you know, bringing the other piece of you to, to this experience. Um, what a wonderful... I have, can I use the word holistic it kind of, uh, 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 approach to this? It is, it is. Um, it, 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 it's a fulfillment. It, it, it's a part of my life. And even if I don't play, 
I like to hear and see others play, you know. So Hearts of Steel has a special place in my heart because Hearts of Steel is a story of redemption. You know, Mike found an old pan in the garbage and he took the pan and cleaned it up and shined it up and got it tuned and that was the start of the band. And I think that's God's, that's a story of redemption, of God taking a life from nowhere and cleaning up that life with the touch of the master's hand. So, you know, that's why Hearts of Steel will continue to be in spite of. And continue to be in your heart. Thank you, thank you for that wonderful story. And thank you so much for taking time out um, to talk with our Simba NYC TV viewers. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is Jenny, and Jenny has the official Hearts of Steel band t shirt. Yeah, this is our official band t shirt. We have it in all colors, you know. So this is what it is. You know? So this is what everybody will be wearing on Juve morning. Yes, this is what everybody will be wearing, all different colors. So you, you can purchase the t-shirt here at Hearts of Steel Panyard. And the t-shirt is how much? $20 for a t-shirt. You know? You get it in any color you want. You know? And this this one I have here in my hand here. This t-shirt is It's a section, but it goes with a hat. I didn't have the hat right here, right now. It's a, this is a section, a girl from the band is bringing this section. You know? So, that's it. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you, too. So, what are you doing here on a Thursday night? I'm having a good time with Hearts of Steel, and I think they're wonderful, and they're the best band I've seen all summer. Yana, you see me? I was in street band when nobody could be in street band. When no woman could be in a street band, I was in street band. I was in Invaders. And a woman, my father, everybody put me outside because I'm still born. So you are, you, and, and, and I'm a born 19, a born the 8th, 21st, 31. And all 1941, I'm still born. I'm from Invaders Woodbrook. <laughs> and the oldest still born woman out. And she's 85. She's 85 years of old standing. That's right. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And I's a hard old age, age woman at Hearts of Steel all the way. <laughs> so you've been supporting Hearts of Steel all the way. All the way. <laughs> all of us, Me. three of us, all the way. We've been supporting Hearts of Steel, and we love the band. We love everybody. We have a good time. Everybody gets along, and we hope to win it this year. I support all steel band, a modern steel band. A born in steel band days. When a woman couldn't be in a steel band yard, I was in a steel band yard. <laughs> you got it. So, so you're a rebel. Yes. Right. You got it. <laughs> yes. And why are you here on a Thursday night? Because of love. That's it. Love? Yeah. Love covers everything? Everything. You, know. you love the sweet sounds of Hearts of Steel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy to have you here. <laughs> this feels like Trinidad seeing you. <laughs> seeing the nuts man in a pannier that is a true Trini feeling. Yeah, yeah. Well, usually I, I usually come up here every year just to see my brother on the side, that's my twin brother there, and to sell nuts, you know. For the four years I've been doing it, it had been coming out kind of all right. You know, and the, the, the Trinidadians who hadn't come home for a long time really take pleasure in enjoying a hot pack of true Trini salted peanuts, unsalted peanuts, plus salted cashews and almonds, you know? So it's, it's really nice. It's yeah, really nice. Seeing it gives me like this great, this home feeling. I love it. I love to see you. <laughs> it, it's like a, 
It's like the best feeling ever. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like home away from home. Yeah, yeah, show them a pack of nuts. Sure. Well, usually we get down here and, you know, some people will want a pack of salt, you know, and you could have a, a pack of salt too. So you have and salt and salted unsalted. And unsalted. You know? you know what I'd like to see you do? <laughs> Throw a bag of peanuts. Oh. <laughs> well, watch. What what um I'll try, but my mother always tell me you mustn't throw food. You mustn't throw food. So you know I never I never liked it that stuff. Yeah. You know, I like to hand it out. I ain't gonna lie. I love to see it in Trinidad. I love to see them throw the nuts yeah, yeah. to like the fifteenth row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well um he was not used to do that. Yeah. He really can't throw it. He can't himself throw it five rows again. Because arms are gone. Just like when like Kurtley Ambrose had a stop bowling because he got a little old and the hand gone. It's the same thing like him. You know? So right. it's always like that. It was it's a pleasure. It was great to see it's you. A it's a pleasure to, to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, man. All the best. <laughs> and we're back in our studio. I hope that you enjoyed Hearts of Steel Sounds. As in this particular show, if you like, please comment. Please let us know. Continue to like, continue to share, continue to subscribe. Thank you so much. And see you next week. It's been a blast. TV.